welcome to the beacon. Today I'll be showing you how to repot snake plants. Repotting snake plants requires a few supplies. Here's what you'll need. Besides getting your overgrown snake plant ready, you will need one bag of miracle Grow cactus and succulent mix, one bag of miracle Grow potting mix, Felco gardening shears, preferably, and a few empty pots. Now make sure your pots are at least one to two sizes larger than the pot your snake plant is currently in. Variegated snake plants such as this one retain their coloring a little better in brighter light, whereas darker varieties prefer a little less light. They prefer being dry and somewhat pot bound, so avoid overwatering and do not water the leaf rosette, which is this guy right here. As I said before, snake plants prefer bright, indirect sunlight. They also prefer the temperature to stay between 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. You can even grow them outdoors in warmer climates. And remember, more light equals faster growth. When you see a lot of new offshoots, or if the pot begins to look crowded like this one, it's time to repot. Here's how. To begin, carefully remove the snake plant from the pot. It's a little easier for me because I have a smaller one, but you can do the same thing with the large ones as well. I just put the little pot to the side and then I begin to examine it to see exactly where each rhizome is. It's a little easier if you start removing the media, so I'm going ahead and go do that. It's going to get a little messy. <laughs> You can also begin to gently break apart each rhizome as you're doing this, and that'll make repotting a bit easier as well. As I do that, I just kind of put each new plant to the side so I can clean it farther. Once all the media is cleared away as much as possible, you can then take your pruning shears to cut the rhizomes farther. I like using Felco shears because they pretty much stay sharp and they're very, very efficient. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of cutting each rhizome at the base to separate the new plant from the mother plant. Now what you also may have are these little babies that start growing out of the mother plant instead of along the side. These are okay to divide as well, as long as they have little roots like this. This one also has a tiny one inside it, so I'm gonna separate those guys. Hello. Now that each new snake plant has been separated, we can remove as much of this media as possible and let it air dry for two to three days so that it can heal. To help these little babies heal faster, what I like to do is peel away the leaves that are covering the roots. There. Now, as you can see, the roots are fully exposed. So when it's time to plant, all we have to do is pop it down into the dirt. To prepare my pots, I use the miracle Grow potting mix in a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means this is half full of the regular potting mix and half full of the cactus, palm, and citrus potting mix. I put them both in the pot and then I mix it around together to get them all mixed up. By preparing the pot this way, it promotes better drainage. But just remember, when you prepare the pot, don't push it down. If you do that, 
the soil will be too compact and the drainage will not occur. After a few days of drying, the snake plant will begin to form a callus similar to this one. Once you feel that it's kind of hard and dry, that's how you know it's ready to be repotted. To repot your newly divided snake plants, just take the snake plant and put it into the soil. You don't want to bury it too deeply so that you don't cover the crown. You can just sort of hold it in place and pack the dirt in lightly around it so that it stands up by itself. Now you can organize them in the pot however you wish. I prefer to keep the mother plants, the larger ones, in one pot by themselves and the baby plants in a separate pot. Completely your preference. Once everyone is nicely tucked into their new home, just let them rest for a day or so. Don't water them or put them in direct sunlight or anything like that. Just let them get used to the new soil and the new potting arrangement. I hope that I shed some light on how to repot snake plants today. If you learned something new, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for me so that I can keep making these videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.